It was clear that either America is going to have its first woman president or its first African-American president. How do we take Obama's victory? Do we take Obama's victory as the fact that America needs more time to accept gender equality in comparison to racial discrimination, or is just the fact that Obama is just too good? No, I, I think that you have some circumstances here, but I, but I don't think it has any broad statement about gender or, or race. Uh, as you point out, either we were going to have the first woman president or the first African-American president. Uh, I think Obama ran a slightly better campaign, surprisingly to many people, uh, and, and, the, and the, that he won. But Hillary Clinton ran a pretty good campaign. She raised a lot of money. Uh, she hung in there uh, very well once Obama had an advantage. And I just think it was a question that one of the two had to, had to lose. Uh, and I think if you look at the United States, we still have issues generally of gender and race. Uh, but I think that if anyone thinks that racial issues have been resolved more than gender issues, uh, they're just not watching American politics, American society. I, mean, I think race remains uh, our biggest uh, social issue in, 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 many, in many ways. Uh, but I don't think that the election had much to do with it. What, what it does indicate is that the Democratic Party and the American people were ready to accept either an African American or a woman without question. It was very surprising or rather sweet that President Obama appointed or nominated Hillary for the Secretary of Department of State. How do we take that? Is it also because he would get Bill Clinton back in office for in, as an Edison? Well, I, I think that anyone would, would, would make the observation that having Bill Clinton on your side is a mixed blessing. Uh, uh, you know, there, there are upsides and downsides to Bill Clinton, as, we, as we've known in American politics over the last 20 or 30 years. Clearly, the upside of having someone be able to go to North Korea is, is very great. Uh, but more profoundly, I think that uh, Obama's appointment of Hillary Clinton and her acceptance of the job as Secretary of State speaks volumes about both individuals. Here are two very strong politicians who opposed each other uh, but want to do the best for the United States that they can. So even before the election took place, Obama was pretty sure he was going to win. He was negotiating with Hillary Clinton to become Secretary of State. Uh, and I think he gave her lots of latitude. Uh, for example, she's had far more latitude in appointing staff than other cabinet secretaries have had. And uh, I think that it meant that Obama felt strong enough that he could appoint a very strong Secretary of State. Hillary Clinton felt uh, that she would have enough running room as Secretary of State to really make a difference. So, I, so far, uh, from every obser observation I've made and others, uh, it seems to be working very, very well. Uh, Hillary, and Hillary Clinton brings with her to the job this independent political power. Part of it's Bill Clinton, but much of it is her experience in the White House as a senator, as a presidential candidate, someone who can who command attention around the world. So in 2013, do you see America finding its first woman president in Hillary Clinton? 2013? No. 2016, 17? Maybe. Hillary Clinton will be 68 years old. Uh, that's not old in politician terms in the United States. Um, but I honestly think that right now, that kind of speculation doesn't make much sense. I think we really need to focus on uh, on Obama and Clinton uh, working working together, and, and I honestly feel that that Hillary Clinton right now uh, has none of those feelings. She's not making those kinds of political assessments. Uh, I think she can see that in her life, the future will take care of itself. She's a powerful person. She can have an impact, a great impact, and maybe at some point. Uh, she would become president, uh, and she'd certainly work very hard for it uh, if the opportunity came. But I think that's uh, right now way premature. Lastly, as we all know, America acts like a big brother, and a couple of countries, or most of the countries around the world, feels bullied. During the President Obama's administration, will there be a change in that attitude? I think there already has been a change in the attitude. If you look at the polling data around the world, uh, you see that Obama is extremely popular. 
uh, more popular than he is in the United States, honestly, number one. But number two, uh, Obama has helped move uh, respect for the United States uh, upward around the world. Now, not as much as his, popu his popularity far transcends that of uh, the United States. But I do think his popularity and his ability to, to use it through the institution of the State Department or through his own ability to visit, make visits, uh, produces the opportunity for lots more dialogue, lots more reassurance that, look, the United States will be powerful, but it doesn't want to be a bully. Uh, it doesn't want to use military for force first and foremost. It's there, potentially to be used, realistically to be used, say in Pakistan, for example, right now. Uh, but that the, the, the first call will be to talk um, and talk and I think and, and work at building relationships. So I, I, I'd give Obama time. I think that his emphasis will be on negotiation, on talk, on, on bridging gaps, and I think also, to an extent, more aid, but certainly more investment, so that there can be an economic uh, relationship uh, that is productive, uh, as well as a, a military or, or purely di di diplomatic. So I, in the end, I think it may be of great importance that, that Obama grew up in Indonesia, that uh, he can see things as a young man from a different part of the world. We've elected him president. In some ways, that's the most establishment role in the world. At the same time, he's a black man who spent time in Indonesia. He's kind of the other still. He'll always be something of the other. And I think that's very useful for the United States going forward. Well, we'd like to wish our very best wishes to President Obama's administration to fulfill most of the promises he has made to the world so that we get a better future to, to live in. With this hope, I wish you good luck and goodbye. See you next week, the same time. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, thanks a lot for being Thank on the show. And it was wonderful hosting you today. And it's our culture that on the show we offer a, a small gift. And this is Pasmina, which is a handicraft in Nepal. And it comes from the, uh, the deer of mountain goat in the Himalayas. And I hope you in Nepal when you're, when you're back in the university in the States. I'm sure it will.